It's an annual tradition here on Times to Shine, ranking the NFL divisions by quarterbacks. And remember, this is not a power ranking of the divisions, it's by quarterbacks. And it's just my projection for this upcoming year. So throw history out the window. Eight divisions in the NFL. So let's start six through eight, and then we'll get to my top five. Number eight, I'm rolling with the NFC East. I think Daniel Jones is awful. I think Ryan Fitzpatrick is worse. Dak Prescott, of course, the star. And if the AFC East goes ahead of the NFC East, I love Josh Allen, obviously. I think Tua is going to surprise some people. I favor Mr. Mac Jones. So that's why I have the AFC East over the NFC East. And I'm going to go with the NFC North at number six. Number five, let's roll with the AFC South. And for this exercise, I'm not including Deshaun Watson, who I don't expect to take a snap for Houston this year after sexual assault allegations this offseason. Thus, he's not included, which, of course, brings the division down, even though I've always liked Tyrod Taylor. I think Trevor Lawrence is going to play like the dreamy prospect that he is. Ryan Tannehill has been consistently great as a quarterback for the Tennessee Titans. And I expect genius from Carson Wentz. I think he's going to get back to his MVP ways 2017 when he was playing for that guy, Frank Reich, when Reich was in Philadelphia as the offensive coordinator. I think Carson Wentz is going to have a monster season, and that's going to help the ranking here to the AFC South. At number four, let's go with the NFC South. Headlined, of course, by coming up this football season, 44-year-old Tom Brady. Tom Brady is terrific, and he's obviously the greatest of all time. And with a full offseason and everybody coming back and this, knowing the system now, I think that you are going to see Tom Brady have an even better regular season than he did a year ago. I love Sam Darnold with Joe Brady. Matt Ryan, a lot of gas left in the tank. You put him with Arthur Smith, new head coach, new play caller. I'll pitch. I think Matt Ryan's going to have a monster season. Jameis Winston, to me, is the key when it comes to this division. Look, we talked last week about the comments Mickey Loomis made on the Adam Shine podcast about a quarterback competition with Jameis and Taysom Hill. It better not be Taysom Hill. It needs to be Jameis. Jameis can be an absolute star under Sean Payton. And Sean Payton used that exact word, star, talking to me on my Sirius XM radio show in February about what Jameis could be. I think Jameis in 2021 could be better than Drew Brees in 2020. They just have to let Jameis Winston be the guy. At number three, the AFC North, which I think is actually hurt by Roethlisberger. And again, not a historical ranking. I have Ben Roethlisberger as a first ballot Hall of Famer, but Ben Roethlisberger pushing 40. Ben Roethlisberger atrocious down the stretch of last year. Makeshift patchwork offensive line. He brings the division down. Lamar Jackson, he's won an MVP. He'll always be in the mix for MVP. Love Lamar. I love Baker Mayfield. I thought he was terrific down the stretch last year. I am a little concerned about Odell Beckham Jr. ruining the chemistry. I love Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow has it. Joe Burrow is going to have a monster second season. He's 100% healthy. They drafted his bestie, Jamar Chase. He has T. Higgins. He has Boyd. I think Joe Burrow is going to have a monster season for the Cincinnati Bengals. At number two, the AFC West. And it was close between the AFC North and the West, but at the end of the day, it's Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes, if you're doing a ranking, he's number one on the list for 2021. Patrick Mahomes is the best player, bar none, in the NFL. Justin Herbert, you see the numbers right there? That goes in the books as the greatest rookie season ever in the history of the NFL at the quarterback position. You know I love my guy, Derek Carr. These guys 
raise the division. Obviously, Drew Locke's the answer. I'd love to know the question. But when you have Patrick Mahomes in the division, that supersedes everything because he is just such a gem. He is just sizzling. He's piping hot. He is a star star. Love watching him play. Love watching him run and throw and outsmart the opposition. Patrick Mahomes is clearly the best quarterback in the National Football League. My number one division based upon quarterbacks, the NFC West. And this makes sense because the division is loaded. And top to bottom, this division has excellent quarterbacks. And look, obviously Jimmy Garoppolo brings it down, but you know, at least I acknowledge that the 49ers with a healthy Jimmy G did go to the Super Bowl and they still have Trey Lance as well. Kyler Murray, I think, becomes a true star year number three. Russell Wilson still playing. You see his numbers right there. Like a first ballot Hall of Famer that he is. And Matthew Stafford changes everything. Matthew Stafford is going to have the best season and in his life. And he is a ridiculously amazing talent. You put him in Los Angeles with Sean McVay, with the incredible receivers around him, with a great defense. Stafford's going to have a monster season. I think that you're going to see the Rams ultimately be a Super Bowl team. And I'm sure when it's all said and done, there will be no debates about this order with the NFC West at the top, the NFC East at the very bottom here when you take a look at the divisions ranked by 